Weasel News. What's up guys? I get a ton of questions asking me how to install LCPDFR. Can you make a video? And literally I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. First thing you need to do is to make a backup of your game folder. It's very simple. Just literally copy your entire game folder and paste it into another area. That way if any mods kill your game you can always go back to your backup to uh, replace models or simply to start over again so as you can see right now I'm running a vanilla copy of GTA 4 this is exactly what you would get if you were to buy the game off of Steam next thing you need to do is go to lcpdfr.com you're gonna come right here um, normally it shows up right on the home screen. I'll leave a link in the description. You're going to click download LCPDFR 1.0D, which is the newest version. Download. Green download. Uh, I recommend doing the automatic install. It normally will ask you for a quick security check. So find the beverage, find the money. Where's the money? And we need a boat. Okay. Download the file. It's about 25 megabytes. It shouldn't take you more than a few seconds. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open the installer.exe, which will um, load the setup. You can choose your language. Hit next. Hit uh, I agree. Uh, I recommend using X Live List for the ASI loader. I've found. Um, less issues with it so now you're going to choose where your game is installed okay now i'm going to install it to one of my backup gta 4 folders right here now it's going to install them to my game folder and when it finishes, you can look at different settings, but I recommend just keeping them the same. And here you can do it. Here you go. You can see all the files in my GTA 4 folder. So now all I need to do is boot up the game. Okay, as you can see, I'm back in the game. So now we're going to hit the uh, control. We're going to hit the Alt key and the P key to start LCPDFR. And as you can see, it's so easy to install. It's basically automatic. All you're doing is telling it where your GTA 4 folder is. So this should look familiar to all of you. You could do the introduction if you want. Um, you don't even need police car mods to go on patrol. You can patrol in the normal um, default police cars. As I'm going to demonstrate, so this this is your default police car right here. So you could play through the tutorial if you wanted to. Okay, and you can pull people over if you want. Pull over now. And look, he's he's running from me, of course. That was classy. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's it. Very simple to do. I would completely recommend everyone to install it if you have Grand Theft Auto 4 on PC and start playing. It's a lot of fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching.